In this video, I made the Tiger King in Minecraft. Yeah! Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin! Come here, man. So first of all, in the mod, we're actually going to start off and make the Tiger King model. So as usual, in Blockbench, we're going to use the CEM template loader to actually get a template of a pre-existing mod that we can actually build it off of. So the mob list allows us to spawn current mobs in Minecraft Vanilla and then use that as a model base to build off of. We're going to use the zombie here because it just looks like a normal humanoid biped model. And then we're going to start painting the texture onto it on the zombie texture. The reason why we're doing this is because the zombie just looks like a basic player so we can just use that model to make the tiger king now as usual i do like to make my own textures in these mods so you'll see that if you google tiger king minecraft my texture and model will look pretty similar to a lot of different player skins for the tiger king that's because i usually use a few different images as reference when i actually make these textures just so they actually look like the thing which i'm trying to make but they look a little bit different because i actually made it myself i try not to take textures off the internet it would make these videos a lot quicker and a lot easier but I like the whole process of making everything from scratch because the mod always turns out much better in the end. So we're going to give him some typical tan skin colour and then give him that sort of blue t-shirt which is a meme off the show where it just has all these black spots on. Now we're going to add some more texture later when we actually test out the mob but first of all we're going to make some very basic colours here and we're going to make the actual colours more varied and enhanced later on in the video. Now we're going to give him those kind of fancy showman white trousers and we're going to add a few more details in browns and blacks on the shoes here. So you'll see he has his typical hook moustache and then the mullet on the back of his head. And now we're going to use a few different shades of brown to actually give him some shoes which look quite nice. This would actually be quite a nice texture to actually use as a player skin in multiplayer Minecraft. So maybe at some point I will share the skin online. But for the purpose of this video, this is just for the mob currently. Now you may be wondering where do all of these mobs go that I make in these videos? Because I make a lot of videos of me making kind of random mobs and different mods but you never get the download link and you can never test them out for yourself well i am actually going to post the mod which has all of these different mobs which i've been making in these videos at some point and release it on the channel so you can download this out and test it at some point but just not currently so i'm using mirrored painting here for some reason the zombie texture in minecraft is constantly mirrored so wherever i paint on it it always paints the exact same on the other side which gets really annoying i probably should have made a texture from scratch a new one instead of just editing the zombie texture because it means that every side has to be symmetrical which got really annoying in the end now this wasn't the case at the first but at the end it just seemed to do this so now we're just going to export it and prepare it ready to import into blockbench so we have a texture and a model to use in our new mob so now it's time to set up everything in M Creator. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into the custom models folder and import the Tiger King texture and then import the Tiger King model. And we're going to apply all the right animations so it will actually move efficiently. Now I was originally going to make this entity as a boss, but I decided just to make it a normal mob and give him the yellow and white colors for the spawn egg. I didn't give him any custom sounds, although I did edit them in in the intro of this video just to make them a little bit more funny. But he's going to have 100 health and he's going to basically be a very basic mob that only attacks the player when you're aggressive towards him. This will just make things more interesting so he doesn't just become hostile as soon as you spawn in the world because that would just be annoying. So we're going to test him for the first time right now in creative mode. This is just a temporary version. This is the first test of spawning him. So we're going to get the mob spawn egg and all these mobs around us like dragons. Just ignore them. They're from my other parts of this mod. And here we have the Tiger King. He looks pretty good in the game but you'll see his texture is just severely basic it blends in but also you'll see at the side of his torso the texture hasn't been filled in properly so the blue is completely missing under his arms so it just looks really weird i will fix that later especially under his head too he has missing colors there so these are all problems which i need to fix before i improve the texture but the ai works and he attacks the player only when we punch him and you can see here he's just going to yeet me and i'm going to be slain by the tiger king so now that the mob works and it's very basic, let's fix some of the texture problems we had because you'll see some random yellows, greens and blues here which haven't been filled in which makes the mob look really weird in game because the colours are very inconsistent. Now also we're going to improve the texture because we made it very basic in the modeling software. This is usually the process which I do. I'll make it really basic first, make sure it looks okay and that it works and actually loads and then I'll improve it greatly later. So we're going to draw some kind of black camouflage pattern here. This is because 
because in the show his t-shirt doesn't just have one flat texture it actually looks quite flamboyant and vibrant and interesting so we're going to draw some black spots here to kind of add the perception of having some kind of pattern on the fabric and make the t-shirt look a little bit more interesting because let's be honest the base texture I made pretty boring pretty flat doesn't look very interesting whatsoever now I didn't really know what kinds of shapes to draw here so I was kind of just going off freehand and drawing different patterns and like I said before I was using a reference image on Google Images of someone else's Tiger King skin and I kind of had this idea of drawing all these black fabric textures on it from that skin so I was kind of just drawing freehand and drawing a few similar patterns that that skin had just to see if it would look quite good now this may be confusing for anyone who doesn't really understand how Minecraft skins work and how they wrap around the player model so this is just gonna look like one flat bunch of colors but if you look carefully you can see where the torso would be you can see where the head and face would be and the arms and legs and they will all map onto the player's skin or the mob skin in this situation perfectly when we go into the game test now this will look a lot better in game I wasn't sure if it would look any good at this stage but trust me when this is finished it's gonna look better so now we need to actually shade the color in a little bit into a few different shades because it's flat so we're gonna add some different shades here and now it looks a lot better so let's jump into game once more and see how the colors look and see how it looks when it's fixed. Now you can see this actual visible shading on here. The colors are a lot different than before because it's not just one flat shade of each different type of color. There's multiple different hues and shades of each color on there now. So the hair actually looks like there's some kind of differentiation between it and some texture. And you can see in between the legs and arms, all of those blank spaces from before have been filled in too. Now we're in creative mode right now, so you can't really see the mob's interaction with the player because he doesn't attack the player while you're in creative mode. You'll see these dragons in the background. They look pretty cool too. I will release this mod at some point so if you guys want to mess around with the Tiger King or these dragons then you can play around with them. But you'll see since he has 100 health if we punch him with an open fist this guy is not going to die anytime soon okay. We just punch him back consistently. I would guess that the amount of punches taking to kill him would probably take a long time so it's best to use an iron or diamond sword when fighting him. But he's really basic right now we're gonna add a few different properties to him in a few moments to make him actually have more of a tough fight when you fight him as the player because right now he's just simple he punches you with an open fist and doesn't really do anything that a boss would do I want him to summon some kind of enemies as allies or do something to the player when you attack him and you can see it literally took that long to punch him and kill him and he just dropped some string very exciting so I thought I'd keep this next part in as kind of a meme because it's actually just really funny how this model turned out. The next step was I wanted to create some tigers that he could summon in the boss fight to actually fight for him and help him because I think that would be a really cool thing to actually have with him when you actually fight him as a boss. Now what I did is I used the template loader to spawn the ocelot model and then I tried to actually modify the ocelot to look more like a tiger. But the funny thing is, is it was actually a lot easier for me to make the tiger from scratch and make my own model. This is the first time which I actually tried this and I was using the ocelot and it just looks absolutely ridiculous and just terrible. Just look at this model which I actually ended up making. This is supposed to be a tiger cub and right now it looks like some weird short puppy dog with like cat ears or something and the tail is just so thin. I did try to make the legs a bit thicker, the body a bit longer and try to make it a bit better but it just turned out looking really horrible and I gave it a few tries doing it this method but it just really didn't work. I I called it a baby tiger and I changed it into a Java model and then I started the texturing process. Now obviously we're going to use the tiger color scheme when we actually make this. We're going to use some oranges, whites for the actual mouth of it and try to draw some stripes and things on it like that. But you can see right now it doesn't look terrible but even when the colors go on it it just looks even worse. I left this part of the video in just for you to have a good laugh at how terrible my first attempt was at making a tiger in Minecraft because this model and the texture is horrible. You you can see the mouth the mouth which I just drew there also isn't symmetrical so that just looks horrible too and I didn't even realize this as soon as I draw the eyes on it's just game over just look how horrible this looks I decided rightly so just to scrap it and give it a second try lol 
Okay, so let's go on to the second try and make a tiger model and let's just make this from scratch. So at this point, I wasn't sure if I still wanted to make a tiger cub, aka a baby tiger, or make a huge large scale tiger. Now it ended up being a baby tiger, which you'll see from the material and the model is a little bit small and a little bit more youthful looking. So that's why I decided to make them tiger cubs. And also I wanted the tiger king when attacked to actually summon multiple of these guys. So maybe like four or five at once. And having four huge tigers would be pretty tough for the player to fight off. Even so, it was a pretty tough boss fight, which you'll see in a few moments. So I decided to make this entirely from scratch, okay? Because the problems which I had when using the ocelot kind of restricted me when actually building with the blocks because the dimensions were really annoying. So I couldn't make everything symmetrical and I couldn't make everything how I wanted it to. So I made this base model very quickly. You can see I literally just made that in seconds, even though I've sped up the process. And then I started off with a custom texture this time instead of editing one, like like I did with the zombie texture at the beginning and I edited a few different colors here so we added the cream and the blacks we added a mouth in there and we went for some of the eyelid textures here and then added some eyes onto after so it's a very quick process this didn't take me long with making this one I think the longest thing was just kind of experimenting with the colors for the eyes which kind of turned out okay in the end they do look like tigers for an example but it probably could have looked better and then obviously at the end since it kind of looked like some small cow or something and it didn't really look as much like a tiger as I wanted it to. I did add a few different details on the sides and back here and I tried to make them symmetrical because the mirror painting feature in Blockbench wouldn't work at this stage so I had to do everything manually and check both sides to make sure they actually matched up. And then of course at the end I decided to add a few different claws onto the bottom of the legs as well to make them a bit more fierce looking and give them more feline features because like I said right now it looks like it could be some kind of mountain lion or a wolf. Probably more like a wolf so this is the point where obviously I experimented with adding the black stripes on it because obviously the black stripes are what distinguish a tiger from other types of cats so it went from being some kind of wolf mountain lion to probably being believable as a small tiger cub and it looks pretty decent at this stage it looks a lot better than that weird monstrosity which we just made a few moments ago from the ocelot now this took a little bit of a while trying to make everything match up on the different sides of all of the legs and arms and then I decided to obviously carry on this pattern on the torso and kind of make it a bit different on each side you don't want tiger stripes to look symmetrical because it just makes everything look unrealistic so I kind of just went freehand with this and although it looks messy this is probably the best way to do it especially on the tail as well we want things to kind of look a little bit different and look a little bit messy too so I was happy with this at this stage it looked a lot better than it did before I'm very glad that I decided to remake this model like I said not perfect but it's completely fine to export how it is and then import it into M Creator in a few moments and the last thing which I actually did as part of this process too was renaming all the different limbs to the right limb names because when you import them into M Creator, you do have to assign animations to them and if they're not labeled correctly you won't know what is what without going back into the modeling software so this is the best practice when you actually make custom mobs and then you also have to set what's called the pivot points which is where the rotation points will be when you add the arm and leg swing animations so they can move So then it's time to import our Tiger Cub texture and the Tiger Cub model into M Creator and assign the right animations. And you can see all of those legs are labeled as correctly front and back like we did in the software. And that's exactly why we do it. So it was really easy to do this. Then we use the right texture and model and create our Tiger Cub living entity, AKA a mob. And then we're gonna set some sounds for it. So I'm gonna just give it the Ocelot sounds because they're already in the vanilla game and it gives it some feline cat sounding sounds. We're also gonna give it 20 HP we may change this later and we're going to make it immune to fall damage and we're going to make them aggressive to the player as soon as they spawn so the tiger king won't be aggressive but the cats will be then the only thing left to do is edit the actual tiger king mob himself and add a procedure and some properties that makes it so there's a 0.1% random chance where if you punch him he may spawn four different tiger cubs around him to aid him in battle this is just so he actually summons some cats and makes him less bland and a little bit more interesting the there wasn't really much else we could do in terms of procedures which are just actions that happen during the fight because M Creator doesn't really have that many things which he can use for boss mobs but I decided just to make him summon the cats to help him and make the boss fight a little bit harder especially since he has 100 health and then each of the four cats have 20 health each. 
which adds up to 80 health of four separate entities plus the 100 of the boss. So that's a pretty hard boss fight, especially since he can actually summon these waves of cubs multiple times during the fight. So it just makes everything a little bit more tough and interesting. So now we can jump into creative mode in our next test to see if everything's working. I'm going to give myself some diamond gear, diamond sword and an iron sword just to test out fighting the boss again to give myself some protection against his damage. And you can see the boss looks pretty cool. He looks quite well and it takes a few chances of actually attacking him for the cat mobs to actually spawn. But we're just testing here to see if they spawn and you'll see four actually spawn in an attack here. Now at this stage, the animations of the mob's legs, they look fairly decent. They look okay, but the only problem problem is, is that the cats are actually running sideways at this point, so they don't really look the best they can do, but we're going to fix that in a few moments. Okay, so that looked pretty good. Let's test it now that I've actually changed the direction of the way that the cats actually face. Let's see if they look even better. So let's attack. As you can see now, what happens is the cats will move directly forwards towards you because the model's actually facing the north point on the compass. So they look a lot better. The only problem is, is if you look carefully, the leg animations are not really as good as they were before, but I'm happy with how the mob turned out. We've actually made the Tiger King in Minecraft and he summons some tiger pets to attack you. Now, how cool is that? If you guys actually want me to release this mod and give you guys the download to try this out yourself make sure to subscribe with notifications on to this video drop a comment below letting me know you want to try out the mod and give it a like so i know you enjoyed it and follow me on instagram at the blue crusader for more updates and i'll drop the mod thanks for watching and i'll see you next time